being able to do that then if it just hurts me? Hey, buddy, I murdered everyone you know and care about. You still want to talk tough? You still want money? Mm. I could use... Oh. <laughs> okay, so... Maybe, maybe we, we can talk uh, maybe this Maybe we out. got on the wrong foot. <laughs> I think, uh... I think, uh... I think maybe we could, uh... We could talk we out could, our differences. We, we could come to an arrangement, you know? It doesn't always have to end in bloodshed. It's, you know... This being the first Kingdom Hearts stream you like, the first stream on this channel you tune into, and this is what's happening on screen. Key to opening the invisible doors to other stages. First, you walk straight ahead for 10 steps, then turn left for eight. She crossed the street and went down an alley, then vaulted herself over a squat wall. She was light and quick on her feet. Can so I just point out real quick that it's weird how much that you're describing is what I'm doing right now. <laughs> so fast that Street Beat had to scramble to keep up. Well, it, it, as as we know, Spawn was deeply, deeply inspired <laughs> by this book. She's, she walked down the street. She jumped over a small ledge. It's exactly what I just did. It's just, sorry. She beat up a guy in an alley. <laughs> this way and that way. Uh, this way and that. They zigged and zagged. Oh. He did his best to remember all the turns. Alright, so we're playing by we're playing by NES rules. Things come back or still playing by classic rules. Things come back to life. Things come back to life when you leave the room. That's fair, that's how it works in real life. It's funny how some distance makes everything seem small. Singing and playing at the same time is really hard. Control me, can't get to me at all. It's time to see what I can do to test the limits and break through. No right, no wrong, no rules for me. I'm free. Let it go, let it go. I am one with the wind and sky. Let it go, let it go. You'll never see me cry. Killing the shit out of out of all the creatures that you find, uh, you you <laughs> get to like then it cuts to a later save file. Um, it's it's the you know the the penultimizer, the penultimate boss, and you just murder the shit out of it. <laughs> And then the final boss, like, you just, you take down that dragon. And then it cuts back to the kid playing the game. And he's like, all right, so I beat the game. You know, he's he's going to bed, but his TV doesn't turn off. And then you get, you get. What's in here? I'm pretty sure this mini game is easiest if you play it as a button masher. We have like six. Yeah, I, I was trying to be strategic about it, but it was not going well for me. Yeah, we got we got to catch up. Somebody, <laughs> somebody's never played real. We're pinball. doing terrible, oh, man. Okay, no, fine. we're doing okay. We're doing okay. We're doing okay. No, no, come on. No, we can still get lucky. We can still get lucky. <laughs> <laughs> This game takes forever for how little agency you have in it. I love the team. I'm gonna go hang out with Tanaka. Hey Tanaka, teach me how to suck. I'm gonna rephrase that. Hey Tanaka, teach me how to be a bad person. Well, back down to the scary basement. Where I'm sure the Easter... Bunny hasn't already murdered everybody. Fucking shit! Damn it! Fuck!
So it's going well. <laughs> All right, it's fine. Don't worry about it. It was just a creepy child in the in the distance. It's fine. Don't worry about it. You know, Tails, I, just... I threw a robot at it and it didn't make it. <laughs> Fuck you. No. Okay, this should help. None of you have boats. Fuck off. I'm the one with the boat. Don't you fucking dare. How dare you! Bullshit! Bullshit! Matt says I like how Fox just assumes that reuniting some dinosaurs uh, will instantly fix a planetary tectonic disaster, and the reason he stays is not that the job is clearly unfinished, but because he feels morally responsible for helping the Queen specifically. Listen, at the end of the day, it's important, because you see that it's not Fox's love of money or his drastic misunderstanding of the mission parameters. Uh, it is, in fact, that he's a good person yeah. who cares about the baby dinosaur. He's Maybe in his he Mandalorian sees... arc. Maybe, maybe as someone who also lost his father at a young age, Fox sees himself so in tricky, tricky, Matt. Maybe it's a more complex here. story than there. it gets credit for. I, need to help I hope mom. Tricky's dad is just Tricky with sunglasses. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Fox, but ho come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. Uh, okay, I shouldn't ask that question. <laughs> the catching animation is so fucking awkward. Oh. I don't think I, I don't even know if there's anything I could have done. <sighs> He's cooking the grenade! <laughs> Children is what we call hubris. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't know that it like specifically targets you if you try that. Well, I still came out ahead, so. Did we see him at all in the last one? I'm not yeah, sure. We did. Yeah, we, yeah, we did. Because there was that stupid space at the top of the left of that cake. Right oh, the... oh, no! no! I've been thinking. Everyone's so focused on coins, but there's more to life. Maybe you'll understand if you're all equal with oh, the bullshit. same number of coins. Oh, what a what a stupid! Is no. this the first Bowser revolution in Mario Party monthly history? No, I think I we think got it once. once. I think it Very might be. Early. I don't remember that. Yo, she's just standing there. Nothing's happening to him. I've I had lost... the most coins for the first <laughs> time this whole game. I had the most nothing coins. out of this exchange. <laughs> this is so upsetting.
This is this feels nice. Fun. Nice. nice. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. That was worth it. <laughs> well, you're excited, that. Glad this works. I'm glad this works. I'm glad this works. Thank God. If it didn't, like, who knows how it would Oh my fucking God. We got Pat. Yo. And we've got some guy named Joe. Hi, I'm here to make uh, big deals. Uh, hold on, I have to hang up this real phone call <laughs> where I'm making a bunch of money so that I can play Monopoly. <laughs> Goodbye. Hi, what were we doing? <laughs> ah. <laughs> I'm here to make friends and influence people, except for that first one. I'm not doing that one. So, uh, Joe, can you just tilt your webcam up just the slightest bit? Oh, the slightest bit. Up yeah. like my profit margins, you mean? Yeah, exactly like that, <laughs> yes. All right, everyone. So, uh, <laughs> this is probably going to be a ...been yeah. successfully done. Oh, God. I think I've oh, seen God. somebody successfully do this one. But yeah, past that, I have yeah, I know no this idea. one and Womp's Fortress are definitely possible. Come on, come on, come on, come on! Oh, <laughs> oh whoa! Whoa! whoa. <laughs> Skill. Go, 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 go! I have no idea where it is. I don't either. <laughs> I have no idea where it is. <laughs> it's just gonna come jumping out. Matt's gonna. This this one's in Matt's favor for sure. Yeah. Why? The fact that you can fake out. <laughs> yeah, it's it very much a map. Star. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I told you, I was like, Matt's gonna get this one. <laughs> oh, this game sucks. Alright. Alright, yes, get it over with. Please. I need them to be a little better. <laughs> uh, the, the car has been the way to keep characters that aren't supposed to go in the sewer from going in the sewer. But Big has to go in the sewer. Joe, do you know the solution? Do you just hit the car? Ha <laughs> ha! I take back everything I've ever said about this game. <laughs> I think including the compliments. Oh, you this what the actual place stuff like the, the skull necklaces and stuff. Goblins here, so can't harm those. Why, you know, why? Now, what do we do with our fancy new light dash? Die. The answer is that we get a terrible gambling addiction. I'm the hotel that manager. Call me if you need anything. What cat? What weapon do you think Darth Vader would lightsaber. use? Lightsaber. It, it would be, have to be the lightsaber, right? That's a pretty good answer. That's a safe, Your good answer. Your guess is good, but also <laughs> wrong. <laughs> I knew that couldn't be the answer, so if I had to think of the alternate answer, they gave him a hammer. I want... Okay, so if I send you this, you're not going to believe me. I want you to Google Darth Vader Fortnite Harvesting Tool. 
Har harvesting tool? What is this? A fucking yeah. horror movie? Darth? Well, well, because the game is about building and, and stuff, so you gotta get all the material. You gotta build. Up, you gotta get the materials and everything. So everyone is a harvesting tool. The default one's a pickaxe. <laughs> what the fuck? All right. So, I don't fully understand why I was given this game as a punishment. But doubled up. Happy. Oh, Long shit. time no see. It's been months since I've done this, so I've forgotten how this works. Thank you for the resub, DQP. I don't know why anyone would be on a 35-month streak after we've been just disappeared for two months, but... Alright. So, I don't really understand why I'm sitting here staring at a screen, an Undertale screen. Um, I feel like... This is a strange choice for a punishment, but here we go. I've never played Undertale. I don't, I've never intentionally sought out any information about Undertale. Although God help you if you've just been trying not to hear about Undertale for the last few years, because you probably didn't succeed. Um, trying to find out where I can put my microphone that it's not just completely in the way of my face, but I don't think I care enough to actually find a real solution. This position works. Okay. Um. Sh shit, I think I fucked up my Discord settings, so now I'm hearing you twice. Also, Seren's here. Hi. I'm here mostly for the second half of the stream, but... I'm also here to be moral support for the first half. <laughs> okay, come on, come on. There we go. Okay. Maybe does mouse work better here? Not oh, it works much worse there. Alright, whatever. <laughs> whatever. Okay. So I guess it's time to play Undertale. This is one hour. Mm-hmm. Which will almost get them to the end of the alpha content, which is uh, the content that is in a very different structure than the rest of the game. All right. And that hour starts now. So one day war broke out between the two races. After a long battle, the humans were victorious. They sealed the monsters underground with a magic spell. Many years later, Mount Abot, 21X. Legends say that those who climb the mountain never return. <laughs> nice going. <laughs> Undertale. Uh, okay. Is there anything in here that I need to worry about? No. Order. Oh, this is this is the border I see everyone play with, so I guess that's the canon one. It's the yeah, it's the most default as <laughs> default. Okay. All right. Uh, and name the fallen human. Oh, Alex and Xander are here. Okay. Um. Okay. Well, we got to go with the canon name. Uh, Alex and Xander, are you gonna stick around for the second half of the stream, also? Also, Alex and Xander, you're welcome to just jump into the chat on the server. Also, isn't the canon name Ninten? I don't know, and I choose not to. That's the canon name of the character from Mother 1. Is that the one that Matt Pat says this is? I don't Howdy. know who that is. I'm Flowey, Flowey the Flower. I I literally have no idea. We are 
like two seconds into this game and like we've already got a character that I've heard s way too much about. Yep. Like, I'm gonna be real. I had a film class in college where the, the professor was talking about new media and he was talking about how his niece recently got into this thing called Flowey. Kind of dystopian. Could not give any details on what the fuck that meant. Jesus Christ. What? <laughs> this professor was an old man who rarely had anything insightful to say. Just so we're, just so we're on the same page on that. I'm Flowey. Flowey the flower. Hmm. You're new to the underground, aren't you? Golly, you must be so confused. Hi, Xander. Someone ought to teach you how things work around here. I guess little old me will have to do. Ready? Here we go! See that heart? That's your soul, the very culmination of your being. Your soul starts off weak, but can grow strong if you gain a lot of level. What's LV? Oh, love. Okay, we gain a lot of love. Alright. You want some love, don't you? Don't worry, I'll share some with you. That That's non-consensual, that's harassment. Down here, love is shared through little white friendliness pellets. Are you ready? Move around. Get as many as you can. Oh, he tricked me. You idiot. In this world, it's kill or be killed. Oh, no. Why would anyone pass up an opportunity like this? I think Die. It was I kind of got to enjoy this game without having like any of the fandom interact with me. I just kind of like bought it one day and because i'd heard that people liked it and i played it and well lucky cool. you that is not, i wish that, that was something that could be sold an experience that could just be bought you know, yeah I i'm like privileged in that sense yeah the, the meanwhile like the context that i have going into this game is am i supposed to do genocide or pacifism first yeah like what is this game actually what's what's the intended experience because i'm sure not gonna have that what I think terror. intended is genocide because you're not supposed to know that pacifism war exists. Okay. Uh, ironically, when I uh, first played it, I nearly did a perfect pacifist run. I think there was like two things that I just like didn't get to in the game. Mm -hmm. And like I still got like the normal ending and they're like, hey, you should do this. And I was like, oh, okay. And then I did it and then it switched to a pacifist run. It was kind of weird. Okay. What a terrible creature torturing such a poor innocent youth. Ah, do not be afraid, my child. I am Toriel, caretaker of the ruins. I pass through this place every day to see if anyone has fallen down. You are the first human to come here in a long time. Come, I will guide you through the catacombs. This way. You want to hear a story? Alex, you're pretty far from your mic. The shadow of the ruins looms above, filling you with determination. Even though Alex was here. <laughs> How am I now? Hey, better. better. I'm on my headphones. I'm not at my desk. I got now. a trophy. Welcome to your new home, innocent one. Allow me to educate you in the operation of the ruins. You will never be able to hide this game from your trophy list now. The ruins are full of puzzles. Ancient. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna. I'm gonna be proud of the fact that it's going to sit there without trophies for game completion. That's what we'll say. Ancient fusions between diversions and door keys. One must solve them to move from room to room. Please adjust yourself to the side of them. Okay. Can I, like, examine anything? Only the fearless may proceed. Brave ones, foolish ones, both walk not the middle road. Part Make of progress here. I was wondering if there was going to be any resentment for having uh, made you play this game. <laughs> it's more just confusion. Like, I'm not sure what we're intending to get out of this, to be honest. To make progress here, you will need to trigger several switches. Do not worry, I have labeled the ones that you need to flip. Press X to read signs. Well, I already knew that. I had to, to read the sign. Uh, first mm. switch is over on the wall. And then this one, too, right? Splendid. I'm proud of you, little one. Let us move to the next room. This switch doesn't even work. As a human living in the underground, monsters may attack you. You will need to be prepared for this situation. However, worry not. 
The process is simple. When you encounter a monster, you will enter a fight. While you are in a fight, strike up a friendly conversation. Stall for time. I will come to resolve the conflict. <laughs> Practice talking to the dummy. I encountered the dummy. Alright. Act? What does act do? Talk? Okay, well he told me to talk, so... Okay. The dummy looks like Snoopy. I won. Ah, very good. You are very good. There is another puzzle in this room. I wonder if you can solve it. Okay, any interactables? No. Unrelated, but I watched Saltburn last night. Have you guys heard of this? Sure, I'm <laughs> sure I've seen it. What? Yeah. Where are you going I with this? No idea what, I had no <laughs> idea what it was about until it was too late. <laughs> Probably my favorite movie from last year. Though I have really? to catch up on a lot of the the big movies. I haven't seen Oppenheimer yet, either, but... It's a... Uh... It's a trip. Let's not get too into detail about it on this channel for uh, <laughs> reasons. Western. Room. We have a mature Western audience. This tag is fine. It, yeah, but that's a heavy <laughs> R rating. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. It's also, I haven't seen dark, it yet, so that would be spoilers. It's like a dark shock kind of movie. So, like, if that's your thing, sure. This go is for the it, puzzle, so. but here, take my hand for a moment. The only thing I really enjoyed was like the cinematography. I thought that was really good. Oh, it was gorgeous. Yeah. This, this guy's spoiling the puzzle for me. I, oh, I it's saw, Atreus. I solved the puzzle. I literally, like, it said the, the blueprint. You have done excellently thus far, my child. However, I have a difficult request to ask of you. I would like you to walk to the end of the room by yourself. Forgive me for this. I don't know if we can pull this off. This might be asking too much. Other things I've watched, um, I saw Severance. Have you guys seen that? It's a TV show. Yeah, yep. I saw that. I know Razzle Dazzle's seen it, and he described the premise as like one of the most horrifying premises that uh, that a TV show has had. I think. Maybe I, not I didn't think like of that, that when I first like heard the premise, but then I watched it and was like, oh, oh yeah, that would be that would be horrible. Sure would. And it's a. Uh, and in some ways, it's not too far off from, I think, how uh, our society operates. I will give you a we cell sure phone. sure do live in a society. If you have a need for anything, just call. Be good, all right? Okay. Well, the sure tutorial do. only taught me how to talk, so I guess that's what I'm supposed to do in this game. Hello, this is Toriel. You have not left the room, have you? Ah, shit. I fucked up. There are a few puzzles ahead that I have yet to explain. It would be dangerous to try to solve them yourself. Be good, all right? Okay, he wants me to stay in this room. The game is so. more MS Core, MS Paint Core, than I remember. I don't, MS, what? That's not a word, MS Core. MS Paint? MS Paint Microsoft Core. Paint? You can just yeah. say it looks like it was made in Microsoft Paint. We don't need a term called MS Core. But that, that's silly. MS yeah. Paint Core, yeah. I've, I've only been taught how to talk, by the way, so. I can't, yeah, I can't do anything else. Elected to fight you? Well, good. You're not supposed to fight. It's against the rules here. We're gonna get a stern talking to. Alright, it seems reluctant. Okay. If anyone cares, I am closing in on having done literally everything you can do in Cuphead. Just nice. these last few bosses that require an S rank that are really, uh... Taken forever. Including the DLC? Yep. Yeah. Nice. 
It did, it in fact did not teach what to do to end a fight. Uh, it said, Toriel said, uh, just talk to the enemy and eventually I'll come and stop them. That is everything that Toriel said. Um, both Razzle Dazzle. And I, I kind of went above and beyond, I think, what the game tells you you can do. But, like, I unlocked different filters and I played through all the bosses yep. on the filters. I don't remember there being, like, an achievement for that. No, there's I, not. I was like, you know what? <laughs> if it's there, let's go for it. And, uh, boy, some of them make it way harder. <laughs> but, uh, it's fun. Hello, this is Toriel, for no reason in particular, which do you prefer, cinnamon or butterscotch? It's a 1930s core. Cinnamon? That's the art style. <laughs> yeah, rubber. Like animation. Rubber. 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 Do you not dislike butterscotch, do you? I've, I'm gonna be real, I don't know if I've ever had it. Really? Yeah. Do they not sell butterscotch at Wawa? Is that why? No, it's because I my parents didn't do a good job raising me, and I wasn't raised to actually have a wide variety of different foods. Mm. <laughs> Three out of four gray blocks recommend you push them. Oh no! Can I just immediately end the fight? No? Okay, he doesn't like that. I need to compliment him first. I'm not sure what this means when I, uh... And playing Earthbound and take a nap, and then I wake up, and you're playing Undertale. Was hey, that? Hey, why were you playing Earthbound? <laughs> yeah, I'm with because Thrace. because uh, Thracia is really hard, and then you wanted to play. Oh uh, yes, Earthbound, famously easy Earthbound? and smooth experience without problems. Yeah, Fam <laughs> famously a very polished game. Yeah, you could just grind in order to um, make it through Earthbound. I guess I, yeah, you have you to be better at Thracia. I guess the logic doesn't yeah. make sense to me. Oh, Thracia, this is a really hard game. Let's play Earthbound instead. I was gonna say, there are plenty of games that are uh, better. Full stop. I would agree. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've... Um, I've Thracia even heard some Fire Emblem though. diehards to be like, like, yeah, Thracia's not the one, you know? Thracia oh. is so hard. Let's play Cicada Chris instead. That'll wet my whistle. It'll be great. Uh, console. See, Thracia is, like, I like Thracia, but it's, uh, yeah, you have to be good at it. And I that's recall, not like... I recall you described it as a game for criminals, and at the time... Yes. At the time, we were playing Sonic Frontiers, so a friend of mine said, I don't know, you guys like Sonic, all right? Um, I mean, yes, this was, um... You showed me, like, this is in regards to the Thracia map in Engage, which is one of the hardest maps because it's from Thracia. And I'm like, yes, no, Thracia is the hardcore sicko Fire Emblem game. And when I say... You have to be good at Thracia in order to enjoy it. I don't mean be good at Fire Emblem. You mean specifically that game? Yes. You have to know Thracia to be good at Thracia. Mm -hmm. you, you can't just be good at Shadow Dragon and Gaiden and Mystery of the Emblem and then go and like Genealogy of the Holy War and then go pick up Thracia and be like, all right, I'm going to be good at this one now. So the, is that the one gameplay like... detail that I know about Thracia is that healing stabs can miss. Yes, they sure Happening can. In the third chapter. Yeah. So and that... then I got ambush spawned to death. Yeah, that also happens. Is it more because of like just the specific like game, like uh, the level designs and the layout? Yes, the, level? the mechanics are very unique. Okay. The the the, me the mechanics are unique. Uh, the, the story, one, one thing I will say is the story also allows for more branching to the point where you can have two playthroughs that fu fuck you over in completely different ways. Mm -hmm. Uh, and, oh, I tried pushing those, but I guess I didn't try pushing them in the correct direction. It's true. Um, and then... Yes, and then it is just also very hard on top of that. 
Um, it is... But Seren, what if I played Fire Emblem Heroes and I'm really invested in this character, Reinhardt? <laughs> yeah, I'll play more Heroes. I just met Olwen. <laughs> just keep playing Heroes and don't worry about the game that they came from. Is that game uh, still being supported? Heroes? Oh, yeah. Oh, it's yeah. in full swing. It's the that one that is... makes money. It's the, it's the only Nintendo mobile game that still has the full original like weight of development for when it launched. It's like mm -hmm. they have never pulled scaled back on Heroes. And no no other Nintendo mobile game has ever made anything close to as much money as Heroes. Got yeah, it. I was gonna like, say it, it's a foolish question on my part because I still play Pocket Camp in that game. Like it's it's definitely in its like. Um, they have they have a routine for every month for that game. Yes, no, it's it's, it's on what's called life support, yeah. where there is okay. now a skeleton team this that is. Gonna is... Take, this is going to take me some time to like actually memorize the path. I'm going to screw this up several times, but I think I understand the puzzle now. Where it wants me to. Oh no, I wasn't supposed to do puzzles though. Well, I said not to do puzzles. Well, enjoy Undertale. Meanwhile, talk about Fire Emblem, <laughs> okay. a better franchise. Oh <laughs> um, yeah. No, like like so, Xander the. Basically, what um, what the generalized like structure of that is is that um, yes, Pocket Camp, and this happens to a lot of mobile games. Is there you is said you could both push them around. both both through subscriptions, subscribers, and just like active active players, there is enough revenue coming in that shutting it down would be a bad business decision. There is not enough revenue coming in to keep full and active new content development ongoing. So they have a they have a minimal team that continues to shuffle things around, maybe add a new thing here or there, and then oh, it shows. Keep, they just keep the keep. just keep the income coming in. That's yeah. that's all it's there for. That's the only reason it's still alive. Mario Kart uh, a few months ago, right at the e end of the deluxe DLC wave, um, they they stopped new content in Mario Kart Tour as well. So there's no new uh, drivers and there's no new tr tracks. It is now yeah. content complete. They took, you know, they, they took the gotcha out a long time ago, actually. They're all but the colors matter. It's a I'm re sorry. of the same of the previous year. You see, it was, that's what Justin was saying. They just yeah. put it in, in tours all over again. I'm also. Yeah, no, exactly. I don't interrupt Saren, but that's not how uh, it works. Yes, no, it's not. Um, <laughs> but uh, uh, Pocket Camp, like uh, I've noticed it, like they don't even make new models anymore. They just take old models and then like create a new yep. texture, slap it on, call it a new item. It's like okay, yeah, and that's and that's something they can do. Meanwhile, like every six months, Fire Emblem Heroes gets an entire new gameplay mode that just goes into the rotation, and now there's like fucking 20 different modes. It's been a while since the rhythm game has come around, but like, they just keep coming up with new mo like new ways to play the, the game. The rhythm game was early in the game's life too, by the way. Like, I've played that. Yeah, that was like within the first 18 months they added the Fire Emblem rhythm game, like but so. they've added like most of the soundtrack of Engage to this thing already. Like, really? there's like, you can get, basically get the entire franchise soundtrack in this app. They have... How many characters do they have? Let me look. Uh, interact with... Right. Uh, 1,055 characters that you can currently get with 11 placeholders uh, for upcoming characters. Each one has f uh, four full art, four unique full art uh, pieces designed, like, illustrated by a usually a guest artist. Uh, Japanese and English voice acting uh, fully localized dialogue into multiple languages in character for that character, including characters that have never been in English before this app, which is what how we got into this with talking about Thracia, and uh, plus the chibi sprites for battle, plus the combat system, stats, etc. Uh, every single time, and it takes them like six-ish months to make a character, so they're always working like six months ahead. Um, and every month or so, every month, month and a half, they add a new full chapter of the main story of which they are on story number eight, because every year they tell a complete Fire Emblem story. Fuck, it's been eight years. Jesus Christ. Yeah, yeah, this is the eighth year. 
<sighs> my brother was telling me when when Pocket Camp came out, he was a sophomore in high school, and now he's married. Just a really yeah. weird thing. Um. I mean, I mean, okay. Look, you tell me that the 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 Fire Emblem and Gage made story. Like, I'm not talking about side char like side character interactions. I'm not talking about Somnium. I'm talking about the the main story arc. That is less full than any fucking chapter of Heroes that isn't Chapter One. That's very true. I didn't like, play that game. I watched. Uh, I believe it. Like, yeah. And it was like, you know what? I'm a like people will like, people will say like, oh, compared to the story heavy games like Fates and Three Houses that have tons and tons and tons of writing, most Fire Emblem games don't have that much writing. Mm -hmm. It's Heroes is in line with most Fire Emblem games for each book of Heroes is like that. And so Yeah, Fire Emblem games with a lot of story is like a relatively recent idea. It it is. Like it genuinely is. Like even Awakening does not have that much story. All the writing that you're remembering is the supports. Awakening could have been a, a hero's story. Yeah, like you're for like you're over associating your memories of the game with the amount of writing. Go back and play those games. Um, the story in the uh, the 3DS remake game uh, Echoes. Yeah. Echoes. Okay. Yeah, yeah, that has that has an I, NES amount of story. I would okay. I think it that has slightly more than the average Fire Emblem game, but not many. So they didn't add new, like, substantial story. It's still the NES. Substantial, no. Okay. They um, added, like... On it. They added, like, a chapter and a half's worth of story, while, like... Well, okay, like, a chapter and a half's worth of brand new story, and, like, every individual chapter was brought up to like the modern standard I would say plus like an extra 5%. I think. Oh, yes. I want to and I want to be clear. We're talking about like long cutscenes. I'm like when I say that Heroes has enough story, I'm not saying it has the same amount of writing. Of course it doesn't have the same amount of writing because it's meant to be literally pocket-sized. I am not overestimating the hero story. I have played every single chapter and every single paralogue and I've done pretty yeah, much I, every piece of playable content in heroes yeah I, I think thing. the idea the idea is not heroes is substantial it's that most fire emblem games aren't yeah it's if you you can you can write out all like if, if you condensed all the cutscenes in awakening so that they are just conveying the ideas they need to convey you have a hero's arc mm -hmm. the end so how much of a time investment is it to like start from the beginning with heroes and get through the story? I genuinely have no I idea. I skimmed through that dialogue because I was they, like talking at yeah. the same time. Don't what, worry. I missed what you just said. They they have a bun they have a bunch it's of catch up no mechanics. One cares about well. Yeah. <laughs> they were they were a bunch of catch up mechanics and they have um they have a like they, they have like free gotchas for like mo like relevant characters in the meta to mm. be to like try and build like get you through some of the early story stuff as fast as possible um like i, I have played it it's just every time i turn it on i'm like i feel like there's like a billion things i don't understand they have like a, like a little like talk. walk through character and i'm like this is I don't know. I, I don't think I'm stupid for not understanding what I'm supposed to be doing. I just don't feel like I want to spend the time reading the, like, Bible of uh, Fire Emblem Heroes, like, instruction that they have. And, and There's a, there, are a, there are a lot of modes, and each one has their own tutorial because, yeah. yes, because this game has been going on for so many years, and it's they've been worried about retention because it's almost made a billion fucking dollars. Oh my gosh. Like... This is an enormous financial success. The development team on Heroes is tiny. It is really? like 20 people in intelligence systems have just been working on this thing nonstop. So what's to stop them from like making a sequel app that just be cannibalizing? Or is that something that they would- That is fail, that fails every single time on mobile. 
Okay. There are only a few instances of that working. Uh, you, like, they would sooner just have a a new version number that just completely changes the underlying tech if they have, like, mm -hmm. tech debt or something. Well, also, also consider, but, like, if you're a player who has been playing for eight years, how are you going to feel when suddenly everything that you've been doing is just wiped clean? Exactly. They don't want yeah. they don't want like, the player's investment to go away. Like they that killed want... Destiny. Yeah, they don't. And want then the Destiny players... died three more times. Yes, time investment <laughs> or financial investment because uh, this game has made almost like this game has made basically three quarters of a billion dollars at this point. It is people have put a lot of money into this app. Is this because and, it's not gotcha, right? Is that that where people are putting their money? Uh, there's there's gotcha, and then there are there, there's um, a subscription service. Okay. And the subscription service is much more reasonable than any of the three subscription services in Pocket Camp. Oh, I'm sure. Uh, the Pocket Camp ones are actively ripoffs. Um, yeah, I'm not a fan of the Pocket Camp subscriptions and. Uh... In general, I'm actually looking forward to the day Pocket Camp gets announced to be shut down, just because of how uh, how bitter that game has made me. So, so here's <laughs> here's my question: If that's how you feel, why do you still play it? Uh, I I like looking at the items. I guess I don't know. I okay, I like but but here's the thing: I I really like looking at the the very nice art of new characters in Fire Emblem Heroes. But the sure. thing is that your browser can display PNGs. Yeah, no, I, I guess when I say like, I like to use them to decorate, I'm, I'm into that. But um, I, I just wish that they would put that stuff in the Switch game. But um, I, I guess it scratches an itch for me on my phone to just be able to like decorate with uh, the Animal Crossing stuff, which I know most people don't even use Pocket Camp for that. Oh, I finally understand. I literally eat, say he's saying eat your greens. I need to intentionally run into the green ones. Yep. Um... But, I mean, Fakes is right. It's not enough that Xander should live free. Pocket Camp should die whimpering. But, <laughs> yes. Ra Ra Razzle Dazzle is right that um, Fire Emblem Heroes is also, like, much more free-to-play friendly than um, Pocket Camp. Part of the reason, a big part of the reason that it is successful is because it relies on the player wanting to spend money rather than trying to force them to need to spend money. Mm. Yeah, Pocket Camp does that. Pocket Camp makes it basically impossible for you to complete, you know, Animal Crossing is just a bunch of, like, checklists, yeah. and you can't really do that. Yeah, uh, that's not... Awesome. Yeah. That's why I don't like it. Um, but... Yeah, no, it's, uh, Fire Emblem Heroes is an incredibly successful game. It is, in terms of budget versus, uh, like, recoup... It is definitely on the higher end of hey, buddy. like Nintendo successes ever mm -hmm. of like small budget, huge, like huge recoup. Um, also, yes. Uh, so do you think that's that its success impacted Engage being yes. kind of similar to Heroes? Yes. Million okay. percent. Well, but also, like, in what way do you specifically mean, Xander? Well, again, I haven't played the game, but it looked like it was, you know, a lighter on story and summoning different characters, kind of like the, the, in... Okay, in summoning okay. different characters is just overall fan service. That's yeah, okay, but also, thing. also, in Fire Emblem Engage, summoning is not a gameplay mechanic. Okay. Yeah, it's it's... The, the the fact that there are legacy characters is just fan service and okay. other games have done that similarly it's just more front and center there um yeah. actually the it, it, that it is a gameplay happen. mechanic but not in the way you're thinking of you can get accessories that technically have the png of a previous fr franchise character associated with them i see but like okay. you can't you can't go and summon a secondary character or a tertiary character from one well, of these yeah. games. In what ways has the mobile game um, impacted the mainline series then? Uh, definitely by streamline, like making Engage streamlined to hell and trying to make it much more quick bite accessible. 
Mm -hmm. Um, Also by, like, you know, it being very focused on the legacy of the franchise, which is what Heroes is. But, yeah, Heroes is... And, like, a lot of the... There are definitely also some mechanics that are directly lifted from heroes where he, like they were fr- overall franchise mechanics and then heroes refined them a little bit to make them mm-hmm. more approachable and then the, that version gets brought back into the main main line because it turns out that making the franchise as approachable as possible has other benefits other than scaling the scaling it down so that you can have a satisfying fire emblem experience within two minutes on your phone yeah. Although, well, that's the appeal had, for me. When I had played the mobile game, I always thought it was too easy in the maps. Like, I felt like it's just, as long as your numbers were high enough, like, it, it kind of felt like the grind of the console game, you know? Where so, you just, are you so talking Xander, enemy? Xander, can I, can I do that thing where I condescendingly rephrase what you say in order to, like, give you context? Sure. So, what, I, I can rephrase what you just said to mean I've only played the story mode? Uh, I tried the um, Forging Bonds, is that what it's called? Forging Bonds is also, Forging Bonds is extremely, that's even easier than the story mode because it's just like the recommended play is just keep auto battling endlessly and just get more rewards. Yeah, because the point of that Uh, is dialogue. Yes. I see. The... The, so like how, there are how interesting the gameplay is in a Fire Emblem Heroes mode is like directly related to how much dialogue there is. And when I say that, I mean like the more dialogue there is, the less interesting the gameplay is. Uh, yeah. what, what what I will say is that even before you get into PvP, uh, which is where a lot of like the that that's where like the quote unquote meta is. It's like mm-hmm. this character is really popular right now. What are good counters for that, etc. That's just like generalized PvP. But like PvP on the scale of having one thousand over one thousand characters, which with rel- a relative amount of different abilities that you can mix and match because you can inherit the A ability from this character and put it on that character, uh, to a certain extent. There's also like if you go in to the special maps, you'll mm-hmm. find a lot of things that are like infernal, like branded as infernal level difficulty, and that difficulty requires that you. Uh, play it and don't auto battle and like you have to go in and plan what skills you have like what are what are the stats and who's gonna take their turn first and where what's my starting order gonna be and that is like the more hardcore fire emblem play style but like i'll have to check that out then because it's clearly not what i've been experiencing so and you can play you. you can play fire emblem engage on the easiest difficulty and just full auto battle everything and if your numbers are higher you'll win i like, may or may not have done that to get some footage for the review like there is you can one million percent play most fire and em- like most modern fire emblem like that and heroes mm-hmm. is that way because it is trying to meet like it's it's not trying it's trying to purposely not present a skill barrier that would prevent a player from being able to purchase things mm-hmm. or being inclined to purchase things because they don't want only the best players to be the paying customers. I see. So uh, it like they, the dialogue is a is a reward that pe- that satisfies what consumers seek. Yes, yes, there are there is like. There are intrinsic and extrinsic rewards all throughout that game, and I I don't know how much in terms of, like, game design we want to talk, Um, but, like, TLDR, there sometimes there is intrinsic reward of the game presents a difficult challenge that kicks my ass two times, and then I clear it the third and I feel good, and sometimes there is extrinsic reward in... Uh, if you cl- if you clear this mission, the story will like the story will progress. You will get interesting dialogue. You will get a character interaction between these two characters who do not usually talk. Um, mm. it's commodified you will see a... the supports in a way. Exactly, and so <laughs> there. So <laughs> because there are those two different tiers of reward, that's kind of what they were saying when the uh, 
when they said, um, hey, the it's kind of the inverse of dialogue to gameplay depth. It's mm -hmm. not it's not strictly that, but it's not that, that's like not a useless barometer because of the fact that those are two different sets of those are two different types of uh, rewarding players. Uh, so uh, Pocket Camp has something similar, but they are incredibly more um, stingy with letting you have that. They oh, have yes. um, fortune cookies, which are it was just the gotcha mechanic of that game, mm -hmm. and um, your like zero point zero zero five wow. like you know five <laughs> star fortune is the thing that has that support conversation literally in uh in like a little scrapbook where you can like see the villagers talk to each other and it's like it's that but with animal crossing but it's just way harder to experience that like, i think i probably have like maybe five and there's like probably like 80 at this point it's just silly yeah look at these cool toys they don't interest Mobile you at all. and they're not very cool <clears throat> How's Undertale going? Toby is struggling. <laughs> did, you, did you name the character Toby? No, I just I just got an achievement saying, help, I'm running out of ideas. <laughs> because the last trophy was called, I have plenty of ideas for achievement, or for trophies. Uh, okay. See. Because it's a joke. Someone else's room. Ariel's diary. Read the circle passage. That's that wouldn't be very kind. Yeah. Read no, the, the main character is named Ness. Ness a friend because the, she has bone. Yeah, I figure that's the canon name. That's the is it really? I don't know. Oh, I don't know. I was supposed to be <laughs> Oh, is this like the game theory? I, I, I know about this. Catch up. Oh, theory. this this is the picture I see on Twitter all the time. It was, uh, I believe, stepping back from game theory, right? Yeah. I mean, a lot of YouTubers are kind of stepping back and being like, do I want to do this for the rest of my life? <laughs> Working mirror, that means the game is good. True. <laughs> Metroid Prime Remastered. Confirmed. Not good. Up oh, already, I see. You know how glad I am to have someone here. There's so many old books I want to share. I want to show um, you my favorite bug hunting spot. I've also prepared a curriculum for your education. This may come as a surprise to you, but I've always wanted to be a teacher. Actually, perhaps that isn't very uh, surprising. Still, I am glad to have you living here. Oh, did you want something? What is it? When can I go home? What? This this is your home now. Uh, this is awkward. Uh, would you like to hear about this book I'm reading? It's called 72 Uses for Snails. Sure. Here's an exciting snail fact. Did you know that snails have a chainsaw-like tongue called a radula? Interesting. True. Well, bother me if you need anything else. All right. I Wait beat for... Tears of the Kingdom. Oh, congrats. Sorry to hear that. Yeah, I'm with Matt. Or, uh, uh oops. Sorry. Um, no, anyway. uh, that, not. Um, You're good. Yeah. Okay. Um, I, uh, yeah, I, I agree. I'm not. There were parts of it I loved, and a lot of it I was like, this is wasting my time. I don't want to play this anymore. <laughs> that was kind of the. Were those, uh, the cutscenes? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they were the cutscenes. Yeah, okay. Just wanted to make sure we were on the same page. Is I, it God, it's actually I hate that, that actually, I was so thinking much. of the depths and the sky and the world and also the cutscene. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> when I I came in with medium hopes for that game and you know what? This game's been out for almost a year. Mute mute me for the next fifteen seconds if you don't care. Or if you do care about story spoilers for this almost a year old game that has not, no relevant not good story. story spoiler. Not yeah. gonna lie. <laughs> I don't know. The moment that Zelda committed suicide to help a man, I was like, "All right, that's... I just, I'm done here. I I'm so <laughs> sick of this franchise not letting Zelda be a cool character or be an interesting character, even because like Nintendo has never developed a game where you play as her." Never. Uh, I mean that. So, I mean like, that's the. There's a couple, so that's that's true, but also like, I they we don't even we haven't even cleared the bar of her being an interesting non-playable character. 
I yeah, think. I'm, like, I, I agree. Or, well, we have we have like once, but we don't consistently. We so there's this cutscene where she it's, it's like halfway through the game, and she's in the throne room with all these people, and Ganondorf is there. Oh my gosh, Ganondorf's in this game, and he like sure comes is. up and he's like talking beef with the king of Hyrule, and he's like, "You you're being mean to me, rah rah rah," and then he he like leaves. And it's, oh, we'll make a treaty. And he leaves. And then Zelda looks over at the king and she's like, that guy gives me the creep. Creeps. Just his name. Ganondorf. And I'm like, you fought a guy named Calamity Ganon for a hundred years. What do you it mean? is so impressive how far <laughs> out of its way the game goes to never say the words Calamity Ganon. Yeah. Yeah, no, it's Calamity Ganon didn't weird. happen. I just was like, did the, the Breath of the Wild actually happen? Because like, there's some no, evidence. No, this game is just like... gaslighting you. It really <laughs> does feel like, like that. that. There's an Arcanea in my world too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Seren, yeah, I don't know. If, do you rem did you ever play the original Fire Emblem Warriors? Yes. Do you remember the support conversation between Marth and Celica where they're talking sure about do. like, wow, there's an art, you know, it, our world sounds so similar. I'm like, yeah, you guys know the same person named Katria. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, it's, it's batshit. Like, I don't know. I just Again. can't get why Nintendo touts Zelda as their story game series because like it's terrible. Oh, they don't. They they, oh, they I, don't. I know, but I feel Nintendo, like Nintendo. No, they no. The only the the game that Xenoblade is what Nintendo touts as their story. Uh, Xenoblade and their visual novels are the yeah, ones that they say care. We care about the story for these. They I feel do like the not... average person doesn't even know what like Xenoblade is, though. Of course not, it, because Nintendo. That's doesn't why Xenoblade's allowed person... to be good. Nintendo doesn't. <laughs> Occasionally, think the average... Nintendo doesn't think that their average player cares about story. They think story gets in the way for their average player. Yeah, and I think that the average player thinks of like I'm not average player. I have to think like Joe Schmo thinks that Zelda is their story focused because it's the you know the medieval adventure game series. that's because yeah, average joe schmo actually thinks the story in tears of the kingdom is great oh i mean that... no <laughs> average average joe schmo like statistically average joe schmo is either is playing the switch with their 2.5 kids uh to with to play animal crossing yeah. and then if and then playing mobile games or if they're a, a gamer average Joe Schmo is playing God of War and Spider Man, <laughs> notoriously story heavy games. <laughs> yeah, average Joe Schmo isn't even playing Zelda. What am I saying? Yeah, like, oh, no, they are. They're playing thing. Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom because those games sell, sold way the fuck better than any Zelda game before. Yeah. Like, yeah, exponentially I... more, which means we're never going back to the old style as, as a mainline ma major budget thing. I, I like, I don't expect Zelda stories to, like, be really that incredible. Um, but, like, Tears of the Kingdom was kind of on, on the level of, like, this actively upsets me. And that's that's kind of, like, where it really, really disappoints me. How much longer are we on jail, by the way? Uh, it'll be when the stream's been going for an hour 17, so, like, 15 Great. minutes. A little less, yeah. I did not like the feeling that Tears of the Kingdom gave me of like thinking I'm gonna be experiencing things in the wrong order, uh, just from having mm -hmm. talked with you guys, and then also like even like my own uh, experience, you know, with the tutorial area playing it in the wrong way, or I went to the Dragon Head uh, Island before I was supposed to, and I found the entrance to the Spirit Temple. Uh, I... yeah, Razzle Dazzle. Uh aggressively and vehemently disagree with every fiber of my being, comma, respectfully. <laughs> Say, I... usually Zelda stories range from decent to great. Oh, I think that they're all kind of bad. I think I would describe a number of them as decent. Zelda, I think, has amazing story moments and character moments, and the mu music, I think, carries a lot of the Zelda story. But I don't think the story is themselves it is. Spider's Majora is an outlier and you should not be counted. 
Um, I, yeah, look. Fire Emblem, or not Fire Emblem, uh, Hyrule Warriors 1 is on the high end of Zelda stories. It is also terrible. Uh, look. Take it away, Seren. Wind, Wake, Wind Waker was fine until uh, Zelda suddenly became white. With no explanation. She just changed race. Yeah, it, was, it always kind of confused me. Spirit Tracks is the only game where Zelda's allowed to be cool. And even then, she spends yeah. most of it dead. Yeah, because she like, dies immediately. I was like, why does it... I, I get the whole, like, they're reincarnating into the same loop. Over... I get that as a cop-out for the story. But, like, why does Ganondorf have to be a Gerudo? Like, what if he came back as, like, an evil Rito, and, like, this time he could fly around like a bird? I don't know. Just do uh, Because that would be an original idea. Okay. okay. And Nintendo is worried that that might... Uh, play poorly. Yeah, okay, yeah. so we, I, at a certain point, we really do need to, like, sit down and accept the fact that Nintendo is, like, mass market mainstream as it gets in gaming. Like, Yeah, no, they don't want deviation at all. Like, they, they are... The story every time. They are the MCU of video games. They just happen to still be consistently hitting a higher quality than the MCU does. No, they are... No, MCU is way more interested in telling different stories. To their detriment, sometimes I but can't think. I, I can't think of a closer example in in movies, but you're uh, you're correct. I just can't think of a closer example. <laughs> They're Nickelodeon. Remember <laughs> that. I I mean I guess now Nintendo is the Nintendo of movies. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you mean they made a terrible Mario movie that made a billion dollars? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm. I tell you, I think that the Zelda movie is going to be. Um, oh, it's going to be the biggest thing. train wreck in the franchise history. I actually think it I might. I guess I'm supposed to like actually attack. I think this. a lot of people like, that's going to be their entry point into like what the Legend of Zelda is because it. Oh. Um, it's, it's movies filmmakers would like to thank Avi Arad, the first true believer. If there if there's one person I trust to make a good movie, it's the guy currently in charge of Madam Web. <laughs> and Morbius. <laughs> that was how the movie's gonna make a more billion dollars. No, I didn't like the Mario movie. I liked almost nothing about the Mario movie. You now, okay, this is maybe a a poor idea, but how in what ways do you predict this movie will fail? Like, is this going to be like the last Airbender where like, you're going to get the names and races right? Or no, no, because Nintendo has bra It's not going to be wrong. It's not going to be brand inaccurate. Is the thing that's the thing Nintendo cares the most about. They don't know how to tell a good story in movies. See also the Mario movie. Um, they care about getting their brand on screen as much as possible and getting a brand correct. To them, the Mario movie, the original Mario movie. Even though it's a better movie than the animated Mario movie, it is way more brand inaccurate. So to them, it is way worse. Mm -hmm. um, the the Zelda and, and movie, the Mario movie, I think, has proven that there is a dis there's a lot of people that also just want that brand accuracy. Yeah, no, a lot of people will consider uh, highly brand accurate to very good movie. A lot of people. So, a lot of Nintendo fans, a lot of the mainstream audience, that is a lot of kids. It's like it's like the video games. Yeah, for kid for kids, whatever they're kids, it's fine. It, yeah, but uh, but the no, the Zelda movie is uh, all right. Here's one way: the Zelda movie's gonna have a hell of a time with the only black man in the movie is the villain. <laughs> It's gonna have a hell of a time with yeah. there's a race of black women. I don't know. And I mean, they, only they, the women. And then no. there's a one black man and he's evil. I, I believe in Nintendo's ability to make the Gorons black coated. Like I, I was surprised that and the Mario not a compliment. <laughs> was they leaned into Bowser wanting to specifically marry Peach. I was very surprised that that was the creative choice they went with. I mean, yeah, the, every every that, single time Bowser's ever been given a motivation, that's what it is. I, I guess I just have never... They don't push that 
It's always just he kidnapped Peach. I never really thought uh, about that. Anytime Mario, the, Mario. The, the Mario RPGs what? pretty universally are about marriage, and then Odyssey is about marriage. Yeah, I, I, I guess I don't even think about the RPGs as that, but like, I remember Odyssey, that was like the... I, I guess when they announced Odyssey, and this time Bowser's got throwing a wedding, I thought that the wedding aspect was like a new thing. Um, uh, have you played Super Paper Mario? Yeah, I guess there is a wedding in that. All right. That's literally what happens. the opening cutscene. Let me see what like, happens if Toriel just kills me. Mario is kind of me. So I'm talking about like just like the normal main Mario games. Like that's just never really been a thing. It's always he kidnapped the princess. Like I don't know. He's he's holding the monarch for ransom. It's a, it's a very like. Well, it's never old... ransom. <laughs> okay, not ransom, but it's, it's like a very yeah. old like. The, the evil dragon has the princess, you, the hero, go save her. Like, that's, just, that's, a, that's a trope. And that's kind of what I've always thought of it as, but... Um, yeah, because woman. Yeah, for sure. And that, that, that I'm not um, arguing that that's... DQP, I never said it's about marriage. That is a game in which Bowser's, Bowser's direct character motivation in, to, in the... In the start of that game okay. is marriage. Seems like me and Toriel are at an impasse here. <laughs> yeah, Toriel will kill you. My, my point was, I just was surprised that that was the objective in the of the the reasoning in the mo in the movie. Is that 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 is what they went with. Yes. Um, well, again, uh, cartoon bestiality is an easier sell than. Anyways. DQP is willing to offer a hit if you want one for the next six minutes. Let me just drop these bombs, and I just oh, they're amazing. <laughs> I'm I'm not. There's there is nothing about this that is incorrect. No, there's not. <laughs> I don't. Maybe I am just tired of being nice. Like, I, when you when you were talking about Zelda, and you were like, the oh, moment I've never that seen this mechanic. Oh my god! My I didn't see it that way, but you're right. That is what she did. Yep. Yeah, that's why it's like, I don't think the bar needs to be playable Zelda, but like, the bar does kind of need to be. It's called the Legend of don't Zelda. Don't fridge like, her. Kind of cool. yeah. I don't fridge her would be a bar I I would appreciate if we could reach. Hey, there are two, two of the three Zelda games by Philip C D I. Don't fridge her. Mm hmm. That's a that's a pretty decent track record. Maybe is, Phillips should be in charge of the story. Is Spirit Tracks considered fridging her? Because she doesn't have a body. So Spirit Tracks is weird because like they do like physically kill her at the start of the game, but she she is a character for the entire game. So yeah, no, it is simultaneously the best and most offensive depiction of Zelda <laughs> in the entire franchise up until Tears of the Kingdom, which is unilaterally more offensive in yeah, every oops. way. Yeah, oops. Didn't mean to fucking kill Toriel. Oh, well. Oh, well. Um, but, uh, I was, I was trying to, like, lower her health like a Pokemon and then spare. But, uh, oh, well. Um, <laughs> for, um, ju you just to be clear. Left. Uh, just to be clear, like, f I do not... I do not believe that fridging means a woman died. Fridging means that like a, a woman was killed in the story uh, for no real reason other than giving motivation or sadness to a man. And she, uh, this, this is done without her really getting yes. a real character moment out of it. Her, her yeah. death is exclusively for the emotions of a man. And that, you, it is to propel the story forward. Yeah. So, like, it's a funny joke for us to say that, like, oh, Spirit Tracks fridges Zelda in minute one. But it, it like, frid Spirit Tracks does not fridge her. Yeah. Tears of the Kingdom kind of does. In, um, if you're going to kill off that character, and I'm not saying that you should, but, like, if that's the decision that they want to make, I think that it would have been more interesting had she just been, like, she makes the decision to stay in the past. Because, like, in Breath of the Wild, which may or may not have happened, I'm not sure, she was more of a nerdy scholar type, and, like, it would be more interesting for a character of that type to, like, choose, like, a historic... Uh, going back into history and staying there, rather than, like, staying uh, in her modern time. I just... I, I think that, that would be more interesting, but, um... Anyway, I don't know where... I, my, my train of thought started to leave me there, but... I just thought it was weird that, that that is what she decided to do. It felt like she was kind of a different character 
than what she had been portrayed as in the previous game. It toes up to the line of fridging without committing to it sure is a way of saying uh, she she kills herself and sacrifices her humanity to live for thousands of years as a non-human in order to deliver an item to a man. Some Doctor Who stuff right there. Just Zelda, putting that out there. Zelda is like reduced to like her functionality for the sake of Link. Yes. Also, I, like, I did right it back. again. It's the same thing. Like she did. She, it was a similar thing in Breath of the Wild. Like she stayed behind to fight Calamity Ganon. She might not remember him apparently, but she fought him for a hundred years. Yeah, Breath of the Wild. I would not consider it to be a high, a high tier success for Zelda's character, but it's it it doesn't actively offend me. Like Zelda was actively holding back Ganon for a hundred years in that game, and while I would strongly, strongly prefer she gets to actually have a role in the story, like mm-hmm. I'm not offended by that. Yeah, if you're gonna, it's it's better than her being held captive. I'll give you that, but mm-hmm. I just. Uh, my point is, it seemed a little uh, repetitive to have her, again, spend an, a, an obscene amount of time um, for the cause, this time as a, as a, uh, a dragon or whatever. Mm-hmm. It just it felt derivative. A lot of the game felt derivative. I mean, yeah, it was very derivative. I, I had a conversation with someone on Twitter where they were like looking at the Keeleys and it's like, is it really fair to give Resident Evil 4 uh, remake uh, a spot on like the, the best games of the year when so much of it is, is hinging on this previous game? And I'm like, Tears of the Kingdom is right there. Yeah. <laughs> like there is genuinely, unironically, more new game in Resident Evil 4 remake than there is in Tears of the Kingdom. Here's the Kingdom. Uh, Here's the managed. guy. Yeah managed to do um banjo kazooie nuts and bolts with less racism true i guess like even like i was telling you about like not wanting to like do things in the wrong order like even the memory is the way they present the story i don't understand why they did it the way that they did like yeah why uh, like, can I, you do those out of order I, I, that's what i'm saying like because why would they let you do world. that what if okay cool you find a geoglyph in, in one of the those spots like it just shows you the next linear cutscene like you don't have to literally have the cutscenes out of order that's, the that's first little... the first cutscene i saw in in that quest line was ganondorf killed my wife zelda yeah that was the second one for me <laughs> and it's because they put it right by the rito village where they tell you to go first it's like why would you do that stupid like I, I remember turning it on this is like a few hours into the game and me being like i don't think i should be watching this right now like this seems like it's late game we're at 117 yeah that is the end of undertale mm-hmm. punishment yeah. game over i do not mean this abrupt cutoff as a slight against undertale um it's clearly a high quality video game um there were moments where i was like all oh, that writing's funny i like that um but I'm sitting here, it's like, what can I say about Undertale in 2024 as someone playing it for the first time right now with everything? Like, how do I even play this for the first time when I am aware of the existence of a genocide ending and a pacifist ending and the discourse over which you should do first and how the game is so clearly set up with the intention that you do not know those exist and... I hope you continue to play this game. I probably won't for these reasons. Because Makes sense. so much of that hour was me performatively trying to trying and failing to engage with what the game was setting up. Like I I was doing the whole pacifism thing because it was a be like because I was trying to make a joke of like, ah, oh, it never taught me how to fight, so this is all I know how to do. But then, I, like, as it went on, I was like, no, this is, like, you're kind of meant to just assume you can fight everything and then s- stumble into this on ac- by accident, probably, on a second playthrough. And I, I feel like I can't engage with this game um, because it's the year is 2024. <clears throat> um, that is fair. 
It's almost a 10 year anniversary. Yeah. Um like like li- like literally I that that entire time I was making an active choice to like to play along with the bit in a way. And I don't think I can do anything else even when I'm not streaming. Like, how, how do I engage with this when I've already seen through it? I guess at that point, it's just, like, doing all the grinding to get to, like, the hard challenge for the sake of the challenge. Yeah, and for what really it's worth, want. the gameplay mechanics that I engaged with were pretty cool. Um, and I almost feel like pacifism is more mechanically interesting than fighting, because I actually had to figure out the best option for each enemy and the one enemy where it's like oh the solution to get them to be spareable was to spare a different enemy in the fight first like that actually seems like a more interesting video game than actually fighting from like what little fighting I actually did so um I didn't think there was a lot more to the game than just pacifist or genocide that is true it just feels very strange like it, it, it feels like I had preconceived notions of it that made it very difficult to take at face value in a way. Um, so I don't know. I mean, and it's, and it's also just too. like the smallest bit exhausting to run into a line of dialogue and like my brain goes, oh, yes, I've seen this a million times already even though this is my first time ever seeing it in the video game. Like, when I got to a save point, and it was like, oh, this fills you with determination, I'm like, all right, I guess I'm going to be seeing that line a lot. Like, that is that is clearly a joke, that every single save point is, is giving you a different line of dialogue on how it fills you with determination. And that's a good joke. It's a funny bit. It's also not going to be funny to me because I've already figured it out because I've seen it online like that. Yeah, you, the the memes have uh, already indulged you to the point where you can't can't really enjoy the source material anymore. It's like watching too many Office highlights on YouTube and then trying to actually watch the show. Mm. Which I've never done either of those things, if I'm being honest. Yeah. But yeah, Some, someone out there understands that. Yeah, it's it's a strange game to be playing in this the year of our lord 2024 maybe you can jump in on deltarune when it comes out in full maybe um it's actually kind of interesting that i know nothing about deltarune <laughs> like i cannot tell you the first thing about what happens in deltarune so maybe i actually can engage with that pretty well nice. but all right mm-hmm yeah, so, so you have a second game. Yes, we have a second game, and that is going to be over on my desktop PC. So I'm going to take a couple minutes to set that up. Everyone stick around, because should like I still don't know what game we're playing. Should we tell them so they're incentivized to stick around? Do you want me to take out my headphones so that they can hear, but I won't? Uh, Sure, take out okay. your headphones. Okay, I'm going to take off my headphones and count to 10. Ooh. Should I take out my headphones? No, uh, they're going to be playing a Korean bootleg Mario ripoff that is uh, somehow even more wild right, than Super Mario Bros. Special. Off. Okay. <laughs> All right. So that's going to take a couple minutes to set up. So everyone stick around. Uh, we'll be back in a bit. Sorry, where do you find these things? <laughs> I have Sir, I need you to please a stop big I have, an, I have a way city bigger city portfolio <laughs> of these punishment games than anyone could wait, possibly wait. expect. What? Wait, what? Wait, what? No, wait, what? <laughs> no wait. wait, I I put in $103. What? <laughs> wait, what? You actually put in $1? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> okay. I- Oh my god. <laughs> that monkey is in a star trap. <laughs> oh no, I left the 
the dog out in the snowstorm. I have to save him. I have to save him. No. No. I didn't think it was immediately going to be a snowstorm the next day. I didn't check the weather. I'm a fool. Matt, can you do me a favor and just lose? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's the worst thing you can do to Xander, because now he's going to feel like he's been cheated. <laughs> I can't believe you did that. <laughs> I mean, he's still winning. Surely it won't be purple a third time. <laughs> it's gonna be. I uh, just wanted oh. to help this boy. <laughs> oh <my laughs> I think I said this would be a short mini game. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> I think the game's doing this intentionally. Are you trapped? I'm doing yellow this time. Holy! <laughs> I wish there was a counter to tell you how many times we've done this. It's probably gonna be like eight or nine now, right? Oh! Ooh, guaranteed star, star or chance time. We are who we choose to be, Matt. I'm behind you. I could probably get the star if you want to go for chance time. But it is me, so, you know. Uh, you could also just not get the shortcut. Yeah. And you did. All right, you did. <sighs> My heart can't take it up the chance time. <laughs> Yeah, Peach, give 10 coins to Peach. <laughs> oh, boy. Okay. Oh, it's too early. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> hey, Xander, now you can really afford the star. <laughs> yeah, I guess. <laughs> In my heart that it's basically the same. Do, do, do. I'm coming, Dad. I'm on my way. All right. So you see how, like, Dorcas was, like, completely in this position the entire time? I'm going to try and zoom myself out a little bit. It was, like... He's kind of doing the Mario pose. So I think some some fans, I'm not sure if it's like confirmed, but I think some fans speculate that it's like a a uh, a reference to Mario doing like one of these things when he like punches up for a coin or, or hits a block. I guess we'll fight this boss on the Jacques route. You can't wait. I can't wait for the shock route. Oh, sorry, the shock route's over. He's dead. He's dead. The needs of the many outweigh the needs of the few shock. I'm sorry. Then just at least go put the fucking pearl in the hole. Yes. 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 Yes! Yes! Fight this domesticated cat! I was a film student. I thought we were 
be friends. I mean, I'm not. I, my my degree didn't get me anything. <laughs> I'm working in an go. office. Can we go? Daisy? Oh, no. Daisy, you good, buddy? <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing, Daisy? Oh, I narrowly missed the world record. Okay. You set that in a really nice spot, didn't you, buddy? <laughs> I had to! Extremely targeted. Kidding. Do where should oh. I put this? <laughs> like, how about? <laughs> oh my god! Oh my I god! <laughs> <laughs> there we go! Instant karma, Alex. Um, Instant. Um. Look, I really enjoy sewing. I didn't expect to have to reap as well. Unless Alex rolls a one. Nobody behind me. Yeah, yeah if you no roll one, then I, I don't know what's gonna have to say. Ah, shit, one of them got eaten. Young little Jeremy. Oh shit, I'm about to lose a lot more. Oh god. I found the Positron generator. God. You came close. Look, I know this car. What? Have you ever heard anyone say that? No. <laughs> it's like, there are two types of drivers. Number one, you uh, you fucking lose your mind as soon as you see the uh, the the indicator for low gas on your car, and number two, I know this car. Yeah, no, I've never seen that. So what do you mean you know this car? You've been it's, playing it's this game saying. for an hour. It's an expression. <laughs> You've been playing this game for an hour. We call it a bit, Joe. You're a bit, a bit much. <laughs> Alex is the killer. <laughs> yeah, I, I wish I killed that baby. No, it does not. I like those little black stars. They look cool. Oh wow, it's gonna put you right at 19. Oh my god! Oh. <laughs> None of us are ever going to get this star! <laughs> Literally every yeah. single one of us has passed this star and not been able to get it for some reason. This star is this cursed! One, this one. Uh, yes. Whee! Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. 